Hey, what's up beautiful people? This is Fabio and today I'm gonna be taking you through a sequence that combines a little bit of everything. Balances, stretches, strengthening, exercises. And it's a really great sequence for those of you who don't have much time but really want to get the most out of their practice. So without wasting any more time, let's hop on the mat and get started. Alright guys, let's begin today in uh, Sukhasana, the easy pose or cross-legged position and uh, rest your hands on your knees or on your thighs or whatever they feel comfortable right now and start bringing your awareness to your body and uh, maybe to the point of groundness so what parts of your body are touching the floor right now and uh, can you make them feel a bit heavier and can you look within yourself and see what parts are feeling not quite even yet. And take a few moments here to connect to your breath, let the breath guide you through the practice and simply listen to anything that arises from your mind, any thoughts, any great ideas maybe, <laughs> and simply observe it and let it go. This is your time, this is your practice. Maybe you can set an intention, maybe not and you'll just get a good stretch. Hold on to your knees or shins and let's inhale coming forward, tipping from the hips. It's a sort of cat and cow from a seated position. And exhale back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. And we're going to be doing this a few times, so really feel free to set your own pace. Don't rush, you don't need to follow me or follow exactly what I'm doing. It is your practice. Great. Find your stillness and we're going to make a couple of circles going to the right first. Exhaling on the way back. Inhaling on the way forward and one more. Exhale back. Inhale forward and we reverse. So here it's very easy to lose the groundness from uh, one of the seat bones. So make sure that you keep heavy in the part that wants to lift. Beautiful. Back to neutral, let's come to all fours, tabletop position, find a nice strong engagement of your core, so your navel is pressing into the spine, your hands and tops of the feet are really pressing firmly into the ground and that's gonna set your foundation. Tuck your toes under and let's get to our downward facing dog, the very first one of the day. So feel free to make it a bit wider, maybe as wide as the mat. And feel free to walk your dog, explore, maybe moving your hips side to side, maybe bending your knees a lot. And finally find your stillness. Pressing nice and evenly into both hands and both feet. We're gonna hold it for a few breaths. Keep your spine nice and long. And slowly you can bend your legs look forward and take baby steps all the way to the front of the mat and let's hang in here for a moment feeling this uh, different stretch uttanasana or forward fold this again is coming from the hips so if you need to bend your legs feel free to do so you can even bend them all the way down to here or try to stretch them. It's up to you. Find your stillness. 
take a couple of deep breaths and slowly rise up. We'll begin with a few sun salutation to warm up. Inhale, arms up, maybe palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. You can come all the way up to your thighs. Exhale, fold. We'll be stepping our right foot back in a low lunge position. Ground your knee. You can relax your foot. Maybe come up with your torso. This is really gonna stretch and warm up your hip flexor, which is always a good feeling, at least for me. Exhale, ground your hands, tuck your back toe. Step back to downward facing dog. Hold here for a couple of breaths. Exhale, bend your legs. Step your right foot in between your hands. Low lunge on the other side. Maybe hold here, maybe come up. Very good. Ground your hands, tuck your back toe, and uh, step forward in between your hands for a flat back. You can come again all the way up here, or if you feel a bit warmer, maybe this time on your shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to chest and then release. We'll be doing this one more time with a bit of variation. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Flat back on an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna be stepping back. Right foot. Ground. Release the toe. Inhale, come up. From here, we're gonna be trying to tuck our back toe and uh, straighten that back leg. High lunge position. Maybe the arms can come up. Nice and strong. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold a couple of breaths. If your mind starts wandering from this position, bring it back to the breath and to the present moment. Step your right foot in between your hands, ground your knee, release your toe. Maybe come up to the knee. And let's challenge ourselves. Tuck the back toe, straighten the back leg, Come up, high lunge position, strong roots, strong foundation. If you're shaking, that's great. <laughs> Breathe into it. Exhale, ground your hands. Bend your knee if you need to and step forward in between your hands, flat back. Forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart and release. One more time, we're gonna spice it up a little bit more. This time we're gonna inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, ground your hands, step back with your right foot. Let's stay in a high lunge position this time and we'll be coming up. Inhale here. Exhale, transition to warrior two. Open your hips and shoulders towards the long side of the mat. Hands are pulling away from each other. Nice long like no energy. If you feel stable, you can get a little bit deeper here. 
inhale reverse warrior opening the left side of the body exhale let's bring our elbow to our thigh and our right hand behind our head and open this time the right side of the body release coming back to warrior two one cycle of breath inhale reverse warrior and now you have the option of doing exactly the same thing so we'll flow into this kind of uh, extended side angle version or you can go a bit deeper maybe ground your hand sweep your hand right hand down and over the head to create a long line of energy from the tip of your fingers all the way down to the back foot very nice ground your hands from here stepping back to, uh, to downward facing dog hold a couple of breaths this is your rest time if you feel like it's getting too tiring you can always take a child's pose if not you can stay on your downward dog if you're chi in child's pose make your way up to downward dog let's step our right hand in between right leg <laughs> right foot in between our hands and come up to high lunge position beautiful let's transition to warrior two from here nice strong warrior maybe make it deep inhale open the right side exhale back to warrior two from here right hand on the thigh left sweeping to go behind the head opening the left side of the body inhale come up warrior two now you have the double option you can stay here or you can ground your hand sweeping down and over extended side angle ground your hands and uh, let's step forward again flat back exhale fold inhale all the way up exhale hands to heart and release next one will be a bit more challenging for balance inhale arms up exhale forward fold inhale flat back exhale we're gonna step in high lunge position coming all the way up breathe here and then transition to warrior one so you can uh, Pivot the back foot, maybe your hips are towards the front wall. From here, open up to warrior two. Hips and shoulders are open to the long side of the mat. Bend a little extra, maybe shorten your stand if you need to. And we're gonna reach for the floor this time. In front of us, this is a half moon position lift your right leg up 90 degree hips are still open and slowly make your way back to warrior two very nice let's take a downward dog hold it here and we'll step forward with the right Let's take it to the other side. Inhale up, high lunge. Warrior two. 
and let's make our way forward. So maybe shorten your stand, press strongly into the front leg, back on is light, 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 and we lift up. Shoulders are stuck on top of each other, hips to or towards that direction. Exhale, slowly make your way back. Revolve your hands. Step forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. And come all the way up. Release. I'll be facing you guys. You can stay where you are. We're gonna try a different balancing pose. So in this pose, we're gonna shift our weight to the left side. Right side is nice and free. Reach your right arm down as your leg comes up. Left on the hip. Hold on to your big toe or shin or thigh and exhale here, straight in the front leg. Opening out to the side. Hold it. Come back to center. And release. Weight on the right side of the body. Let's do the same thing. Hold on to big toe. Straighten the front leg and slowly take it to the side. Nice and strong, root down in the ground. It's a very challenging pose, isn't it? Coming back to center. Let go. And release. Great job. From here that we are, let's open our legs hip distance apart and we start lowering down. So take a nice squat, halfway and up. Halfway one more time and up. And this time we'll make our way down to the ground. Down, 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 down. Feel free to use a pillow or anything underneath. Hands behind us. And let's make it to sit it. Legs straight in front of us, pressing down with our heel, flexing the feet. Hands are behind us, let's open our chest. Big inhale here and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. And let's release everything folding forward. Make any kind of movement to make this pose feel a little bit more comfortable. Feel free to relax your head. But make sure that the movement comes from the hips. Slowly come back up. Maybe bend your knees and make your way all the way down to the mat. Cactus arms. Let's release our feet, our knees to one side and the other. And take this motion as slow as you feel like. No need to rush here. You can hold it longer. Big squeeze. And release all the tension down. Take a couple of breaths here to feel your spine relaxing, your hips relaxing, your shoulders, your legs and your head. And slowly when you're ready lift your arms up and over your head roll onto one side and press up to sit it.
this is the post that we took at the beginning of the class and maybe now it feels completely different maybe it feels exactly the same but for sure there was a journey in between so acknowledge that thank you so much for letting me guide you through this sequence i hope you really enjoyed it i will see you all next time thank you again for watching Today I was wearing my Om Shanti clothing leggings, so if you want a pair maybe just like that, feel free to check out their website. They have awesome products and accessories and you can use my promo code FABIO18 to get a 25% off. See you all in the next video.